Alright, let's get started on finishing this game. I'm going to switch over here. Turn that off. Second. There we go. Alright, last time we played this game, we got stuck on Circus Park's first level. I'm not gonna start off the stream by having a heart attack, so I'm just gonna go back and do a couple of other stages. Um, I make no promises on getting stuck or not. Uh, welcome to Travel Minigame Salesman. How about you want to play a raft? I got some great prizes. Just in case it's the first time, I'll explain the rules for you. I give you the signal you need to collect all the chicken coins that appear, and that's it. Sounds easy, right? Of course, there's a time limit of two minutes and all, but don't have to worry about that. All you need to do is continuously collect coins, and you'll receive plenty of nice time bonuses. You get 30 coins, I'll give you something good. Uh, well then, are you ready? Ready, and go. actually a lot of missions in this game that I never played. I just kind of got the ending and just left it. Hopefully this time around I can actually finish the game, though. Camera, please. I think we already beat the mission, so bet. Easy peasy. knew that we heard the part where he said he has a lot more, but... Good morning. And I think after this, we're done with the forest village until, uh, we unlock all the alternate characters. Yo, what's up, Charlie? I'm glad that you did that, because I did not test any of my sound alerts to make sure they worked before I streamed. Let's go! 
Uh, Billy, give me words inside the waterfall. Use this. Uh, just across from the river, I heard there's a secret room. I hear there's something very important hidden there. You must cross the river and find a way to get inside. circus hat. And literally the only thing this does in the game is let us walk on eggs. Ah, uh, damn it, I missed it. Damn it. I don't know why there's like boxes under the water. Especially if any time you get off the egg, you immediately die. Another enemy, especially after the last one we killed, they didn't, none of them spawn, so that's uh, that's cool, I guess. Too big. Hold on. Can I like put it next to a box or something? Can I not? I thought I could at least just ride the egg while it was large like that, but I guess not. coins. Like, as much as I was last stream, at least. Like, if I get them, I get them, but I'm not gonna end up wasting all my lives to get a single coin. Red egg over there. I don't know. It is possible if there's a new like animal friend in here.
Nope, that's a penguin. But I do think I need this one. Big question mark, though. Uh, I... I feel like I need to actually, like, freeze the waterfall to get under it. I could be remembering that wrong. But we'll find out. Thanks. I threw it together in, like, an hour last night. <laughs> Yesterday, instead of playing Iron Banner all day, I was supposed to be working on the hat. But, um... I didn't. I just... I sat and I was like, you know what? I can hit my third prestige in Iron Banner. I'm gonna do that. Completely not realizing that the shader I wanted from doing that isn't even available anymore. Hello? What the fuck? Now I have like a ton of iron ingram or iron banner ingrams I have no idea what to do with. I don't really need any more SMGs, and none of the other weapons seem that great. I don't have a need to roll for armor or anything, so like I guess I just like use them and dismantle them all. Also, pretty sure it's the last iron banner for the season, so probably should do something in general. Yeah. One more. Well, that's a shame. I'm tired of Iron Banner. Yeah, yeah I was right. Yeah. I want more trials. I had the circus hat again. This would have been way easier with the circus hat. Yeah. Trials is every weekend, pretty much. I think if Iron Banner is going on, you can't do trials. At least that's how I remember it being. reason to collect them. Just doing it may as well. I thought originally I was going to have to use them to burn down the gate, but I guess not. Next character is I don't think it's unlocked until like level four or five up here, either here or the lava area. Let's go. Uh, I'm King Clippin. I'm called. Oh, I'm King of Clippin. I'm called King Clippin. I have come from afar to test your courage and race of honor. If 
Shall, can defeat me, I shall acknowledge you in exceptional courage. Now then, ready? Go. Do How's that fair? You legit just attacked me before we started. Had to let me get a head start. Yeah, he did. And I just. Oh. I completely forgot there wasn't even gonna be a thing at the end of that platform. We got this, we got this. here for to distract me. That easy. GG easy. Can't believe it, you're amazing. I surely can't trust you with my I I'm sure I can't trust you with my children now. Oh pretty sure I told three of your children to, like, do a splash attack off a cliff on accident. Um, but yeah, I'll take care of your kids. Good morning. So he doesn't need to know what you did to his kids. I feel like he should know. Yep, here we go. First character unlock Rolly. I'm not going to do, like, every character. I just kind of want to give myself some time to at least have fun before I do the carnival stage. Because that, that's not going to be fun. If bro can't watch him, he don't need to know. Shit, that's fair. Uh, Billy, your friend Rolly has been kidnapped by the crows. It looks like the crows have become upset uh, bombs all around Rolly. It's gonna explode in five minutes. There's no time to waste. Billy, you have to save Rolly. I'm so glad that I get to save my friend from being exploded by bombs. Get that juicy, yeah. What's up, Doc? Yeah. Have you ever known? Yeah. Somewhat decent day. Yeah. Yeah. Especially knowing I have off tomorrow. Nice. the coin. Yeah, I'm not even gonna... I'm not bothering. I'm just gonna, just gonna go for it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Your day's been going well. What are you up to? I'm gonna assume working still, huh? I don't know why I did that. This morning to have a doctor's appointment, but because I didn't really get a lot of sleep last night, I... Uh, Billy, if you can get those bombs to a safe place to detonate, you'll be able to save Rolly. Can I just, like... <laughs> yeah, but I was still super tired after the appointment, uh... Which was annoying, because... I switched today's appointment to a, like, over-the-phone kind of thing, but they still maybe, like, wait an extra, like, 20 minutes to see me, and it was so stupid, and there were so many technical issues. That's, like, all they had to do was leave the computer after talking to me, but they decided to hang up the call and come back, and it completely broke the mic for both of us, so they had to call me on my phone anyway, which is like, why didn't you just do it that way from the beginning? And, uh... I was still dead ass tired, so I just went back to bed and I'm not gonna lie, I woke up an hour like yeah, an hour ago. <laughs> I'm still a little tired. Uh Billy, thank you for rescue me. I almost got turned into a fried chicken black uh back there. Uh in return, I'll give you this emblem. Here, Billy, take it, you deserve it. Yeah, good morning. Exactly. As Billy is about to say in like five seconds. If he will touch the emblem. So, the glitches in the text boxes have me worried, because from what I've seen, if those are going to be an issue, it might be an issue to see the uh, obstacles and like the final boss fight. So that might be a problem. <laughs> but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, I'll like do it like the main stages. I probably won't play as the actual characters for a bit, or even maybe at all. Like I said, I'm not going for all the emblems, and I'm not getting an S rank on everything. I'm not collecting all the coins. I'm just playing this to have fun. Oh we, can, oh, we can finally use the Sonic Egg. Finally, yes. So, I think what character you get is predetermined in story mode, but if you play multiplayer, it is 100% uh, random of what character you're going to get. Either that, or you have to make a certain amount of progress to unlock the characters. I will gladly take Kapu Kapu. I wish the Choo Choo Rocket characters got more, like... Just more in general, honestly. We got, like, what, one game, and then we never saw them again? Maybe a couple spin-offs or something? I know I still, like, they had a thing on the iToy, mobile phone. Modern day Chichi Rocket would slap so hard. Yeah, exactly. I think from this game you were able to get a. Uh... I'm just gonna stick with this. I like Sonic Egg. But I, I think if you got all the mini games in this, there was actually like a Game Boy Advance Chichi Rocket or something you could play. Ooh, 
can get a water walking egg. I can get the Jesus Jesus hat. <laughs> Characters having a little issue trying to target onto enemies. Okay, yeah, so they are 100% predetermined in the story missions. That is a new egg, though. Yeah, modern day Choo Choo Rock is something I would like to see. I, I was literally about to say a modern day Samba de Amigo, but we are we are getting that 100% confirmed with a battle royale mode. I don't know what the turtle does. What does the turtle do? I don't know what that did. It might have just like instantly spawned an egg. Yeah. The reason I used it was because I needed to. You need to at least hatch one of every egg to ha uh, have it show up in the encyclopedia. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was so close. Just because, like, oh. So it's definitely not because I just woke up from a nap, because I've been feeling kind of shittily groggy all day. But I, I, I think the weather is really fucking with me. Yo, what's up, Snake? There we go. Hope you're having a good day today. What are you up to? You know, besides, you know, being super supportive and shooting into the street. Oof, that. That whiffed. So, that's whipping so hard. There we go. Back from the gym? Nice. The textures of the gold kind of reminds me of something you'd see in the N64, like Conker's Bad Fur Day, or... Uh, I'm trying to remember what the other one would have been thinking of is... Banjo-Kazooie. Also, com just completely ignore the blacked out Billy. It's, it's totally normal, you know? When a child goes through puberty, they lose all their textures. Shadow Billy. Yeah, it's the secret alternate character Shadow Billy. You can only get him after you've beaten the game a thousand times and uh, inputted this secret code that only I know. My uncle works at Sega Tendo. Emergency, they're back. A whole bunch of crows come to take the Dynamite and there's a hundred of them. Alright, so cause genocide at Dino Mountain. Gotcha.
think this is another flying monkey. Yeah. We enjoy the flying monkey. This is the new uh, Pikachu knockoff for Gen 9. Or no. Gen 9? No, Gen 10. It is, but I'll keep playing them because I am an idiot. So glad we got that cutscene to show us monkey cheeks. Uh, so what's this? Oh, spiky egg. Gotcha. Yo, what's up, Andy? How's your day going? How's work good? I feel like there's a button I'm not pressing. Oh, green egg. I don't think we've hatched a... Well, no, we've hatched a singular green egg before. Oh, no, we were going to, and then I lost it. Renowned Scholar of the Wind. I was never really a fan of this guy, but he's kind of cute. Yeah, I usually judged my favorite uh, monsters off of how well they worked in PvP, which is really weird to say. Yeah, I'm choosing my favorite monsters based off the Billy Hatcher PvP meta, you know? <laughs> the bear. Runny, power of steel and karate. I used to like the monkey, but since they changed the meta, I'm changing the bird monkey. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone knows the S tier animal in this game is actually the shark uh, mount. Shark mount is great, followed by... Uh, I'm trying to remember what the other rideable mount was. I think it was like a lion something. A lion... A lion kangaroo? But then there's like the ostrich camel. 
You know, saying these sentences out loud doesn't make it any less weird. Damn, y'all just keep spawning. Where you at? Oh, those are new enemies, I think. Right? Oh, this could do absolutely nothing for them. Okay. Hey. I think we'll grab this and move on to the stage a little bit, because uh, I don't have anything really for these guys. Very uh, doubt, very much doubt that the melee karate bear turtle will be able to actually hit the flying b uh, bats. You know, let's get, let's get some practice in with this, because last time we found out, you know, if I don't die, like I just did, if you do a rolling jump onto those platforms, you could actually just roll on them. Nope. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I shouldn't try to do, like, the speedrun thing. Because, the uh, It's used in speedruns for a reason. It's fast, but it's, you know, kind of a pain in the ass to do. That's like the weird thing. It's like the rails in this level work pretty much fine. It's just the carnival level. They uh, they suck big pee pee. I could probably finish the stage right here if I killed those bats. Like there's probably more enemies that spawn after them. I'm just. I just doubt that I'll be able to do it. And rip the egg. Fuck, we need that. Alright, I guess we're trying again. Dude, like, the weird thing is this... The control stick doesn't seem to have any sensitivity. It's just... He just go... Oh, now it does. God damn it. I was gonna say I might be able to get these guys with the penguin, but it's not enough fruit. I, I think I'm just a little too I can't I can't slow the egg down at all. Like there's just two speeds for egg. Not moving, and if I slightly touch a stick, running. Like I can walk like this, but if I try to do the same thing with the egg, it's just full speed. <laughs> and I could just, you know, walk off a cliff. If that's any indication on how the carnival level is going to go, we're going to have fun later.
the new rank. <laughs> Unlock the shortcut in case I die. Even though I think this is the last life I have for a game over, so let's avoid that. hatch the egg and make sure it's something new before I just kind of leave. Yeah, little lion friend. That, that's definitely new. <laughs> Not a great rank. And chick has been kidnapped. All right, cool. D for delicious. I hope so. D for. No, I'm not. I'm just, we'll just, we'll not, we'll not go, we'll, let's not. <laughs> We're playing Billy Hatcher, mine's out of the gutter, for now at least. You clearly don't know anything about us if you think we're capable of that. No, I was talking to myself. Y'all are fine. But I'm not gonna be the one that first step bubble. <laughs> when that bubble is burst, it's fair game. It's just I'm not one unleashing those floodgates. That way, I can't be held responsible. You're gonna burst sometimes. Oh my god. There you go, Tons. You did it. I was going to say D for Dom Top. <laughs> cool. Not even that bad, but... Oh, wait, I have a friend. And it'd be a real shame if our uh, friend chick just kind of exploded. If only there was a way we could have provided that. Anyway, I'm gonna go around and collect some random fruit to ignore the objective. <laughs> yes, new egg. Oh, why did that happen? Would be hot. <laughs> Like sometimes people are wholesome, sometimes they get their wholesome people contains multitudes. Shit, you know what, you're right. Oh. Come on, can you just like perish already? Uh, I'm guessing I can't use ice to get rid of the fire, huh? Oh, no. Yeah. 
Oh, if the fucking big bats exploded in the little bats, we could have easily finished the last stage so much earlier. You're an asshole, Mr. Dinosaur. If my friend dies, I'm blaming you, and not the fact that I was ignoring the objective. Call the hunch, I feel like we might have duped our friend. Which, I mean, I have no personal connection to this character. <laughs> the only time we've seen any of the characters in this past the intro is we haven't. So I have no emotional connection to Chick, Rolly, Baton, I do, but strictly for nostalgic reasons and not because they flesh out his character at all. There's no eggs up here. Chick is a hundred percent gonna die. But I will let it be noted that I know it's not because this level is hard, but because I was just fucking around and finding out. Oh no, he's right there. Damn, chick. Aw, oh, man. It seems like you got yourself in kind of a shitty situation. Aw, oh, man. Is, is there anyone I could help? Is there anything I could do? Is there anything I could do for you? If I just... Did that help? Did it help at all? What about this? I, I'm just... I'm just bullying at this point. <laughs> Penguin is so tired of my shit. I think he really is close to barbecue back there. Yeah, I want you to have this. Uh, it's not much, but at least I can give it for you to save my life. Aw, you shouldn't have. Because I was 100% gonna let you die for comedy. Good morning. You, can be, you, <laughs> you can be both wholesome and wholesome at the same time. Ah, uh, yes. The true... <laughs> the true knowledge passed on by Andy and also yes Chick has joined us awesome I I, I don't like I, I don't like any of the other characters but Baton and I don't think we're saving him until next level um May as well save the e chickens while we're at it. I I'm trying to think of like if I should. Uh did I miss you acing the circus today? I did not even start stream with that level. I, I wanted to just kinda chill and you know have fun with the game a little bit before I had rage and gave people watching secondhand rage from this game's janky physics. <gasps> Give me. Give me the lion kangaroo, baby. If you break this egg, I'm breaking the kneecaps. I'm just saying, my guy. Yes!
He jumps high, but not far. <laughs> Every jump I have made with this kit, with this thing up to this point, has caused a small miniature heart attack. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna label kangaroo friend as like a C tier animal. Which probably might be the lowest to date. I remember him being a lot cooler, but also, now that I actually get to put his platforming skills to test, uh, he, he, he could use some, uh, some balancing. Hopefully in the next Billy Hatcher update, you know, they really give him some kind of purpose and use. I, I would like to see a buff to his jump. I can easily kill those guys if I have, like, a large egg. That is good to know for future reference. Yeah. So this looks like it'll be fun to do. Yeah, I need a smaller egg for that. No, I can't. I don't even have a way to bring him up there, so. I think that was for a coin. I wouldn't have done it. I mean, I, I, I totally would have if I knew it was a coin. I would 100% have, but I, I'll just make pretend I wouldn't have for the sake of myself. Let's try this bullshit again. Like, I could easily do it there. This, that was 100% my own fault, and no one to blame for myself. Just that carnival level is just so janky. I, I wonder if it's like legitimately the carnival level is the only stage that has an issue with those rails. Because, like, earlier when I was fucking him up, it was 100% the fault, like, no one's fault but my own. I think this is a bunny dove, right? I think that was one of them. It was like some sort of weird rabbit. No. Heart hat. I, oh, regenerates health. Okay, I legitimately had no idea what this thing did. I feel like this could have been introduced way earlier on. <laughs> we did it. We unlocked the pistachio chicken. Tesha will be so proud. Yeah, yeah. 
There was no reason to change animals. I just, I just, I'm not a fan of the flying hippo. I, I think I said that last time you played too. It's another animal friend we haven't seen yet. Oh, my bad. Nothing stopping me from just doing this. So that is a hundred percent no one's fault my own. Stay down there for now. Yee -ye. Damn, I thought it was gonna last a little longer. Guess not. I think we can go this way now, right? She spawned before. Uh, I, I, I threw it together very last second last night.
Damn it. Time stop clock. I don't. There's really no reason for us to even get this clock. I just may as well get it while we can. Uh, two more chickens. And then we're done with this level. Um, gonna... Okay, it is definitely not in the hole. Um, maybe it's over here where those. Yeah, probably like right here, right? Never mind, Joey. Oh, that's just a shortcut back up there. Alright, cool. Then I'm still missing a chicken. This leaves me. Wait, be over here. You son of a bitch. I'm gonna get my double jump. You're gonna fucking let me. Or else we'll die. And for another coin that I did not need. Um, but I will use that as a shortcut to get back up there. Yeah, hi Spencer. How's your day been so far? What are you up to? I assume you're watching stream at work again. Didn't do this again, really. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I don't know where this last chicken is. I think we started at over there, so maybe you have to end over there.
wasn't when it spawned. For maybe, no, because we already went... It, yeah, we already went up and around with the rails. I'm gonna get such a terrible ranking on this stage now. Do I need egg over there? No. Okay. Good. Sure, that works. <laughs> Alright. You you're shitting me, right? Thank you. There we go. Got that one. There wasn't one out there. Got that one. Got the, the, the one I called pistachio chicken up here. I feel like the one I'm missing is gonna be super obvious. The only thing I can think of is it being somewhere on this side. But I already climbed up the mountain. Might end up coming back to this stage later. But unless the chicken's over there, which... You know, I'm gonna go ahead and say, big doubt. Can't even get over there. Don't know why there's hoops there to make me think I can. I, I think we'll move on. Well, well, let's go try the circus stage. You know, we're halfway through the stream and we have not made like any story progress. All right, who who's ready? Who's ready for the absolute buffoonery that is the circus level? Because I can tell you right now, I am not ready. Let's check in the egg progress. Just because. Oh, all right. let me let me just meditate for a second. <sighs> getting getting ready for my blood pressure to skyrocket. You know. Come on, I've done it at least once before in my childhood. I could I could surely do it now as a 26-year-old, right? Right? Last time we learned, don't bring the egg down the slope, or else we will bounce off the wall and die. We're taking all the lessons we learned on Tuesday into account. I only need to worry about this and hatching it. I'm not even going to bother with coins on this level. Unless they're in a super easy place that I can access just by looking at it. We're not touching them. Like this one here. I just double jump to it. It's over a nice, safe area. Also, perish. in the way of our attack, so we can just... Yeah, two birds, one stone. Throw strats right there. Get this, which I think is the butterfly? Yeah. Catch the butterfly. Grab another egg. Oh, 
stop this bullshit. I'm glad you believe Spencer, because I'm gonna be honest, I'm expecting at least three game overs already. Even though we're doing, I, I don't want to say, I, you know, I, uh, you know what? There is no wood nearby, so I'm not gonna say anything to jinx this. Damn, that penguin's got jumps. Happy feet ain't got nothing on him. So, like, here's what I'm thinking, right? Here's what I'm thinking. This is something I feel like I could have done way sooner and thought of way sooner, right? Instead of going in initially with the golden egg, we will... Um, oh, wait, no, we have to. I just re There's no way to get the golden egg around these doorways unless we make it go over the railing. I was going to say, let's clear and open all the doors with a regular egg. And then... Just bring the golden egg to the end, but nope. I had a stroke of genius, only for it to be immediately just discarded. Yeah, girl, do your classes. All right, this is gonna suck. Bitch, just go. Damn. You know, all, all's well and good. I hope you this chicken ends up bringing back the morning to this land. But afterwards, I hope it immediately dies. <laughs> I know it's not the chicken the elder's fault. But I'm tired of his shit. Alright. Listen. With how this level works, it's deserved. This chicken, I'm gonna say, uh, this chicken 100% designed the architecture of this world. So they only made it harder for themselves to be saved later on. You're not allowed on my chicken farm. Listen. When your chicken does this, it don't deserve it. It don't deserve it. You don't need to deserve to be on the farm. There's me in the slaughtering house. This is gonna make a fine ass chicken sandwich. At least we're getting the third, oh, the first rail down, you know? That second one, though, is gonna suck. I don't know to say now, huh? What, pe to peck your head? If you just want to call me a dickhead, that's fine. <laughs> I am a dickhead. But that doesn't make my reason to hate this chicken elder any less valid. Because watch, I'm gonna push him onto this rail, he's gonna fall right through. Or he could just do that. Watermelon dickhead. I'd make a hat for that, but it would not be uh, to Twitch's standards. It's a toadstool hat. 
College Bulls said. I had a penis-shaped head. Is that just because you shave your head? I could just put like just put a sensor bar over like my forehead. I mean, I did. Did they accidentally sit on? What? Sit on it one night? Oh my god. Go! Jesus! So we made it past what I consider the hard part. Except for this. Because now we have one more rail to deal with. The one that I'm supposed to ride with. Thing. But last time... We just walked right through it. Sorry, my hetero college roommate. There we go, that... Now we have no confusion. Boop, boop. Um... Oh. Okay. Boop. That was too risky. So, if you don't know, when it comes to the blue rails, when you roll an egg onto it, it's supposed to take you with it. So that's not because I, like, I charged it. I, like... When I do that, it's supposed to take me with it. But it didn't. And that's the second time it's we've gotten that far. The only thing I can think of is doing the roll jump onto it. Which alone by itself is a very tricky maneuver. Because the game is sensitive as fuck when you're controlling the eggs. You want to say use air. Wow! Alright. When you're streaming this game, get to this level. I want to see you do it in one try. Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the roll jump. And hopefully I like since there's a knife nice big platform. I already saw Snake do it on the first try. I don't believe you. Not because I think you're lying, but because I, I I just haven't been following Snake long enough, I think, on stream to, uh, generally stream? I think they do, and I think I've only seen them, like, one stream. Not sure. I'm a terrible friend, so no matter what I say, it tracks. Bitch. Yeah. Alright, I hang out with you because you're terrible friends. Well, we haven't really hung out yet. Not you, Snake. 
I hang out with you all the time, Tons. I make you hang out with me. I'm basically the godfather of our firstborn watermelon. <laughs> I think out of everyone in the Discord, I possibly sit with tons the most. So, I mean, that tracks. I mean, honestly, same. Like, there's a few days I don't go in just because I don't feel like, you know, being acknowledged by people, but that's, like, my first place. Like, as soon as I get bored, that's my first, like, thought is just to go hang out in the Discord. Like, in terms of hanging out, I just mean, like, legit just sitting down, not in a stream setting, and just either talking or playing a game with each other kind of thing, you know? So, basically what we have planned for Sunday, just hanging out. going to be going out and doing things since uh, I, I don't think my roommate would just be happy with people being over here. He likes being to himself and I don't want to intrude on the family. Oh, nice. So now we just need to all decide on a time. Uh, but Snake could watch him walk around shirtless just like us. You don't watch me walk around shirtless. I don't think... I think besides two people, I don't think anyone in the, uh, anyone has seen me shirtless. Oh, you're... I don't... My shirt... Oh. Oh, right. I don't think I've updated the profile for anything recently. 
besides Twitter. I mean, you could mean the apps TM, but... Does we even... Those reasons to search for more chances. Y'all are too much sometimes. Alright, I don't have Ninja Cat anymore, so I need to... too much all the time. Exactly, and that's why I love hanging out with you. Fine, full disclosure, Chance and I met first met on Scruff. Oh, yeah. Um. What did I do? <laughs> what? I don't know. What'd you do, Charlie? and I talked on Scruff before we met on Twitch. These ghost me. Oof. Yeah, um, I met Snake on Scruff first, and then, uh, like, a few, like, maybe a few months later, they posted a selfie to Andy's channel, and I was in Dutch, uh, Justice's Discord while, uh, while, while it happened, so I freaked out and immediately told Andy since they were there. <laughs> I mean, deserved, deserved. Size on how sweaty my palms are. Look, Jim. <laughs> I think, legitimately, Sunday is gonna be my first time hanging out with anyone. <laughs> I love this game. I swear I do. But this stage, this stage can get a fucking barbed wire in the urethra. <laughs> but yeah, since my surgery, this is gonna be like the first time hanging out with anyone in, well, since probably November, maybe October. Yeah, I, because I hung out with some friends on Halloween, that's right. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Tons. <laughs> I, I, should, I, I should make it like a bit redeem or something. Like every 500 bits, I have to. <laughs> every 500 bits, I have to play this fucking stage like maybe once a stream. Yes, double down. Also, thanks for the resub, Spence. shit egg. You're gonna get on the rail, you're gonna go around, and we're gonna finish this fucking level. Right? 
You're, you see this red rail? You see this fucking McDonald's ass looking rail? You're gonna get on it. And I'm gonna walk through that door and you're gonna be on the other side. Right? I think I'd just rather be kicked in the balls at this point. <laughs> also, I don't know if I should have it as a bit redeemed to just jump off a stage. Especially because I'm going to need every life I can get for this stupid objective. <laughs> Shut up. Don't talk to me, God. I'm, I'm sick of your shit, God. You can always give up and let the game win. But no. Because now I have to win out of spite. Like, unless we get to the final stage and there's the bug where we can't see any of the ground textures for, like, the object, uh, like the, um, what are they called? Obstacles at the end? <laughs> oh, I thought you said spiral. I'm like, wow, Spence. Wings <laughs> give me a double jump. This music's getting to me. So easy part of the level has been done. Yeah. 
Already, you only killed one guy. Just cooperate with me. mad at it. That one was my bad. I didn't line it up correctly. As much as I don't want to admit it was my fault, it was indeed mine. No, because sometimes it does go with me when I try to turn around. So I am just very confused, I guess. I know it's going to be longer if I don't pick up the fruit, but honestly... I'm trying to like get this magnet bullshit under control. I wish I could just like roll it. Just press B and roll it on there. No. Honestly, I'm wondering if this analog joystick for the GameCube digital ones are today. blame the emulator or whatever, but I know for a fact that this is just as janky on the physical copy of the game. There's a reason I'd never beaten this game, and the one time that I did, not beat, but got past this level, I never played through it again after I lost my save. bear with me. We're already... We're basically already almost done with streaming because of your stupid ass. But I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going until we at least see the final boss.
。あああ。I wanna scream. I wanna scream really bad. I, I wanna rage. I could sit for hours dying to the same boss in Dark Souls, and you know what? I wouldn't be mad because it's my fault. But this. This is the epitome of bullshittery. This is something I would love to see Dylan play. Because I know Dylan feels the same way about Jank. God, shut up. Not in the mood for it. <laughs> Still trying to figure out what these things are. Stage breaking your pots. Bitch. Oh, he was so close to killing this child. Yes. I keep forgetting it's going to keep giving us the intro for hatching it until we beat this stage. what third life cycle attempt also gonna grab this imagine I'm imagining that this is like a multiverse timeline every time that Billy fails it's just another time that you know morning land will never be saved So that when Billy finally wins, it was the version of Billy that was, like, 
capable enough to do this level in <laughs> one try. Not only did it decide to fall through, but that magnet mechanic bullshit pulled me with it! <laughs> Bro. I love the heart attack I get when I stand still with the egg and move backwards and it starts rolling in that direction. Okay, if I just walk straight forward, it should go. It's lined up perfectly. I feel like the odds of this level working properly is around the same odds of a full odd shiny in like, not even the newer games, but like Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Can't get too close or else the penguin starts doing that. If it hits the egg once, it's gonna break. I kept seeing that shadow and every time I broke the box, I was like, man, did I just like ruin my chance of getting a coin? But no, it's just empty. Do 
that. And I'm just... There. Come on. Big cats, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> ah, <laughs> finally. You, sir, are getting turned into a box of chicken nuggets so fast. Thank you. My name is Alani. I'm sure you already know this, but I'm the elder of Circus Park. The crows attack Circus Park and turn the chicken haven fun rela uh, relaxation to what you see now. The local boss of the crows is the Saltim. He has taken up residence in the fun house. You must defeat him. Take the emblem of courage. I will. Never talk to me again. Also, I'm do I have to roll an egg over these? I think I have to make them all hearts. How unfortunate would it be if I just fell down that hole and died on the last life where I finally won, right? <laughs> We're only just now beating this level. Finally at the two hour mark. We started it like an hour ago. Oh. <laughs> uh. I don't even want to look at the rank for that level. Don't show it to me. Don't. Don't even, don't even whisper it in my general direction. Do not fart its general vowel in my direction. There it is. <sighs> the secret of the fun house. The secret is, it's not fun. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Billy, this is the fun house that Eller Elani was talking about. This fun house has been filled with dangerous traps by the crow boss Salim. Uh, you must make past all the traps into the fun house. Yep. Sorry, Saltim. Not Salim. Aha, not today, bozo! Get fucked! Jump long distances. I love that the game is only now teaching me how to do the long jump. Mm 
I don't know what I expected. I cannot emphasize how much relief hit me as soon as we beat that stage. Wants me to go right? I'm gonna say it's lying. It was not lying. Now I have to deal with penguins. I still don't know what the line does. I think it might... It might be the one that instantly makes all eggs ready to hatch. Since this one was ported up, I'm gonna... Yeah. I could have missed it. Yeah. <laughs> I got it on the last life. Oh, new new friend! All right, I love. I, I actually like Bibu. I almost called him Bimbu. I I can. I, I likes the flying squirrel. Flying squirrel squirrel. Where's the other egg? I have to go back to the last room and get the Yes, I do. But hopefully, I'm praying. I am praying. Oh, I think line is in vulnerability. Oh, that's why you said in vulnerability. I thought you were, like... Because as you said that, I was killing an enemy, and I thought I heard it a third time, and I thought you said that enemy had invulnerability. I get it now. Okay, lines and vulnerability. Butterfly is full our uh, three health. Chameleon is invisibility. Yeah. Of course, spiky egg is spiky egg. I think that's self-explanatory. Wow, it really. Okay. Do do do. I knew it. I was going to say, maybe I do follow the arrows. What? You missed! Oh, he's a boomerang flying squirrel. Okay, that's cool. Oh, you're a raid? Yami Owen, thanks for the raid. Hi. For anyone joining Yami, I'm Watermelon Ghost. I'm a variety streamer. Uh, currently, I am playing Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. And not doing great at it. Uh, you just missed me sitting on a stage for an hour straight 
and uh, losing my shit. <laughs> watermelon. Yes. Did I say watermelon ghost? Honestly, my brain's still fried from that last stage, so I would not be surprised. Alright, so now we know which mirror it 100% is. You did. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for correcting me. Hi, I'm Watermelon Orc. I am not a ghost. That was my last reincarnation. <laughs> wow. Yeah, hopefully this stream we beat this game. Uh, I started on Tuesday. It's been going pretty smoothly up until, you know, the last hour. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to end up going back and clipping that where I sat and talked to the egg before immediately having it fail me. Is using my time with Sonic Frontiers? Nice. I still got to play that game. I really want it. And I, 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 I'm not going to say just because I had a crossover with Monster Hunter, even though low-key the Monster Hunter crossover did make me want it more. No, I don't think that's available anymore. Might be. They added a boss rush mode? Wild. Do I have an egg here? Can I make that jump? I hope... I well, no, I still need an egg, even if I make it. Ah! <laughs> that was my bad, I can't even be mad. I need to hatch the... Why are you pooping your babies over the cliff? So many enemies, why? <laughs> Thank you, Piplup. Please, I'm gonna need your help to, uh... Add clear. I don't mess up with this boss as much as I did the last one. The last one I made it way harder by realizing I could have destroyed one of the obstacles it was throwing at me and instead it was just dodging them. Not realizing I was supposed to collect them to get more damage. I don't, I don't I honestly, like, I think I've maybe only fought this boss once before. The rest of the game I've played multiple times, but this one. This, just because of how hard it is to get past the first stage of this level, I just... I never bother replaying anything here. I think I'll break the mirror, he's in. Yes. Oh. Hi. Rude. seem like a hard boss. I, I think I only died that or got hit that one time because I was an idiot. Yeah. Hundred percent only died or only got hit because I was an idiot. I don't know what it wanted me to do for that move. Eh. 
And... Alright, probably honestly one of the easiest bosses. Which means... We can now go to the last stage. really hoping this last like level actually works like if i can actually beat this game and like beat it beat it like the boss and like i i'll i'd be I'll, I'll consider this whole thing a win even if i haven't like done every stage i can't believe you beat salt him well done i hear that you're looking for information about the giant egg i shall tell you all that i know long ago my father told me a story about a war that broke out involving the giant egg it probably started because someone wanted the power of the giant egg for themselves. After the war was over, the elders sealed the giant egg in a castle in the sky to prevent any more wars. The elders performed the sealing ritual at the sand ruins of the east of here, and that, unfortunately, is all I know of the subject. I'm sure that you shall find more pieces of the puzzle in the sand ruins. Save. Please. God, yes, please, save. Secret of the giant egg, baby! Let's go! I don't. Billy! The girls have captured Mary Mary, the elder of the sand ruins. They're holding him at the top of the pyramid. You must hurry up. Yep, I get it. I don't remember much of this stage. Um, like I said, I've only... I, I probably only played through this level like once before. So hopefully... Everything... Is not... As infuriating as the last level. <laughs> Which is sad, because like past the first level of the carnival, it's not bad. It really... It really wasn't... Like, that first stage is really just, like, a high bar to cross. Or, uh, I don't think that was even... You know what, whatever. That's what I said, and that's what I'll stick with. You get the idea. Yeah. This is good music, though. It's definitely an appreciated change to the carnival music. Stop destroying historical landmarks, you asshole. Thank you, have a nice day. Ask me why I did that. Because I honestly could not give you a solid answer. I think this is a new egg. What is spawning over here constantly? Nothing. I came down here for nothing. Oh, but that. This is a new egg, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And that is a well-deserved death. Yeah. Oh, I am destroying the historical landmarks, for I am the asshole. Yeah. Not really sure what happened there, but I'll take it.
And I think this is the rabbit bird? Yeah, the rabbit hen. He does not move at the speed of light. I will guarantee you that right now. Um. Oh, there's. I was gonna say, please let there be an egg here. I wouldn't want to have to slot, like, throw myself off a cliff just because I didn't jump to a different platform before hatching the egg. something over here I need to get first. And I was kind of right. I didn't need to get it. But I'm not upset that I did. A mouse? What does the mouse do? No way to find out. It makes Billy super tiny. What? What is the purpose? That's my fault. I should have waited. I thought I at least would have hit a checkpoint by getting to those steps. Yeah. Sit on me! Aha, you fool! I was gonna let you sit on me. I just wanted the sweet, succulent fruit you were hiding in your butt. I'm not even going to say don't pay me any attention because I know that's just going to make y'all <laughs> pay more attention to what I just said. <laughs> Things at top says do a bottom. <laughs> I don't think I'd be more turned off than if a top said that to me. Which honestly, it seems on brand for a top. Please. I don't even need it. I just wanted it. I will grab that one up again, though. Yeah. 
You know what? Perish. How about that? I'll get purple. Now we actually wait for the crow to stop spitting that mad fire. I don't, that's the wrong button. Also, why did the bird just nuke everything? And is there another egg? Oh, they knew. They knew I was going to get trolled with that. Okay. I don't even think I get bonus points for collecting these. An omelet? Ooh. Yo, Rabbit Hen, we're fun, but I'm gonna go with the Taurus Bowl because we haven't had a chance to really use him yet. Did I say Taurus Bowl? I meant to say Taurus Boar. Could it be like that? Fuck you, Armored Armadillo. Alright, well, I guess I'll get fucked. Yeah, sure. Anytime we've gotten to use Arita, it's been a very not fun time. option would probably just be to go back down the way we came. so much easier than the last stage. Yes, I died and got a game over, but that was because I was being stupid. Not because it was hard. I hope he doesn't make me go all the way back to the top of the pyramid to pick up the crest. I re like, it's fine if he does, but I really hope he doesn't. <clears throat> I'm 
I am Mary Mary, the Elder of Sand Ruins. Billy, you have proven that your small stature belies your... Yeah, belies bravery, and I thank you deeply. However, before we can talk in detail about what I'm... What I know of the giant egg, there's something we must do. Dark Corvo, the boss of the crows, is in this area. Still rules over the sand ruins with his iron fist. When you have succeeded in that task, return to me, and I shall tell you all that I know of the giant egg. Nevertheless, take this emblem of courage as a token of my appreciation. Wait... But this is like the final boss of the game, right? That makes it feel like there's... Like, of course there's like more stages to this level, but like there's not another boss after... Corvo, right? Surely there isn't, right? Good morning. Bosses. Dark Corvo. Nope, there is a final boss. God damn it, we're not done yet. We're gonna have one more stream of this game. <laughs> Depending on how long I go. Damn, so I've never even come close to beating this game. I've gotten close, kind of, to beating the game, but I've never actually gotten, like, to the last boss. Yep, reach giant egg, fight dark coat, yep. Sometimes it's big enough to where I can't just kill it just by rolling into it. Other times, I have to wait for him to sit on me. Like that. Please. Please. Probably the second most annoying enemy in the game. I, I top one still might be going to the bats. And now the fruit's gonna fall in the hole. Yo, what's up, Boxy? Every day's going well. This your beautiful face. Ooh. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> no, it's gonna make me beat up the bee again. Oh man. Alright. Oh wait, no. Oh wow, <laughs> I just immediately spawned the enemies in there. I'm doing well. I'm playing some Billy Hatch and the Giant Egg game that I loved a lot as a child. You spent probably a good half of the stream uh, on a level that was just 
mechanically not working. But we ended up beating it, and we're close to the end of the game. Hopefully we can beat it today. I'm, I was hoping that we beat it today until I re until I'm just now realizing after how many years that this boss that I'm about to go fight is indeed not the final boss of the game. Giving Ocarina of Time vibes. Ah, I can see it. I see it a bit more like a arcadey like like maybe. Wait, kind of. I, I like I see where you're coming from though. Oh. This is the regenerating hat. I would love to have it. Bitch, you tried. You tried to steal my egg. You failed. Now die. Like Ocarina and Super Mario 64 had babies? Yes. That I 100% see. I heard that if you push the switch, the floor of the room will rise. You need to push the switch without making, without getting buried in the sand. Do not, do not tell me that this level is going to start like. And there we go. I, I was gonna say, I hope this level is not being like, oh, by the way, this is gonna be a time thing. Now hurry, press that switch, you loser, <laughs> kind of shit. No, that was my fault. That was me. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I was going to be able to bounce off the sand, but uh, that that was just completely due to my brain failing to work. After this, I th think there's a one more world. That's at least what this game made it sound like. Let's go! Which is weird, because the end of this game, like, the end of this level feels like final boss territory. Like, you'll see it when we get there. Yeah. Maybe they mean, like, I have to 100% the game to actually do the final, like, final boss fight. Which, if so, that's probably not happening. Yes. No. Please. Please. I have no idea how this game works in the whole time, just assuming Chance was good at it, enjoying the vibes. I'm not good at this game. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Genuine, like, it, I, I want to say that because we were struggling so much on the circus stage. But I know that's not my fault. It's more of just the game's mechanics. Just, they didn't program that section right. Up until then, I think that we have doing pretty okay. Like, maybe worst I did was on the ice boss. So, you know what? Yeah, I think I've been doing, like, Okay. Definitely not been doing bad or terrible or anything. Oh, my bad. That was my bad, 100%. I shouldn't have gone for the coin, but I was like, mm, I think I can get it. I think I can. I couldn't.
Dump too early. I like how it was just like, yeah, I'm not bad at this game. I think I'm doing pretty all right. And immediately die at the beginning of the stage two times in a row. <laughs> Very last second. There we go. Oh, okay. I thought it was done hatching already. I thought that healing hat was down here, but I guess not. So I'll make do with the butterfly egg. Where's the bee? You're an asshole. Did you know that bee? You didn't clear out any of the enemies. What the fuck? Thank you. And this is where the anxiety kicks in, right? Oh, I could have just sat on the wooden platform. I thought I had to use... Okay, that's my bad. I, I thought I had to use the... The little jump thing there to actually like keep up with the platform. It was I don't know why I didn't think the platforms would raise without me or with me on them. Nope. Goodbye. Wait, no. Level was raised. Gotta look, gotta look everywhere. This that was not. Oh no! I, yeah, long jump. Bet. Okay. Okay, this is not the way to go. And the way I need to go is blocked by a dinosaur now. Awesome. Dinosaur's dead. It is awesome. generating hat. Fucking <laughs> hell. Oh, I think this might be a new egg. I think we've seen this egg once before. I don't remember if we hatched it or not. Bro, why are the bees coming out of the sand? I'm assuming I have to go over there and hit that switch, right?
You have to go over. Okay, then I have to. I got it. I got it. That bee almost killed me. This bee is actively just being an asshole. No, fuck you. You're mean. Get out of here. I'm being hate crimed by a fucking bee right now. You know what? Fuck the bees. We don't need honey anymore. And you know what they say. It's hip to fuck bees. Oh, they could, they could hurt each other? That's news to me. I'm really hoping that. But I'm just... I'm gonna have to go through this whole stage again to fight the boss, aren't I? Like, that's my train of thought right now. I don't remember any of this. I'll, I'll be completely honest. Like, this section of the level? Like, this level in general, I just don't remember. Don't eat the butterfly. This is after generating health, I think I'll be fine. Yeah. 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 Ooh, that was my bad. 100% my bad. That's also my bad, and this game over, it's gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> it's fine, we know what to do in the quicksand area, which I think, you know, besides the first part, will make everything so much easier. Okay, I at least want to fight the next boss at least this stream, you know? Even if we don't finish the game... I'd like to just get farther than I ever have before. No, no, no. Huh. Hatch it before you can kill it. Fuck you. Alright, Piplop, kill the bees. Oh, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I'm so glad it worked out when. I prefer the rabbit. I'm glad that you helped me out, Piplup, but uh, I'm, I'm, I just, I like this bird more. 
Also, no, I'm never gonna stop calling that thing Piplup. Because I don't remember the original name. I don't remember any of the original names, not gonna lie. That's why I just call him shit like Ninja Cat. Like, I get it. It's a heart hat. It's shaped like a heart. It regenerates my health. But am I the only one that was thinking this? This looks like a pair of balls just hanging off his head. Yeah. It's like chuck nuts for his head. I was trying to double jump on the thing, and I failed completely. Come on, do the thing. Thank you. Let's hope this goes smoother. I'm not going for the coin this level. I'm just not. I'm, I'm just gonna go.
didn't do that. I thought I wasn't going to make the jump. I was 100% going to make that jump. Try it again. I think I deserve this. I'm being... I, I, I'm getting more irritated and becoming impatient. So I think I deserve to be a clown for a little bit. Until I learn how to stop rushing myself, at least. Make a Russian watermelon orc? Why? Oh. Is it because I'm rushing? I'm trying to rush through this game. I'm assuming that's why. Boris the Orc. <laughs> clown. I keep trying to rush through things and dying because of it. <laughs> I at least want to beat the crow. I at least want to beat the crow. No. There we go. Take off the nose and it'd look cute. What do you mean? You don't you don't like the crown you don't like the clown? I think it's very fitting. I'll just start with this egg. And then... I won't kill this last one until I have it ready. And now I'm ready for the bees. Let's go. Ah, oh, the bees are ready for that. Yeah, the bee doesn't even know I'm here. And now it's too late. Oh, it's a cute clown look, but most of it just looks good all-purpose look. Ah. Uh... Sorry, your younger brother has more uses. Multicolor Mohawks are hot, okay. I think Mohawks are just hot, period. I wish I had one in real life. Said I'm bald. I hate it. Yo, bat, do it. I didn't know you had a mohawk. Show me.
Don't even give him a chance to fuck me up. As for the record, Bald is also way <laughs> I mean, it is. It's just, I'm not bald by choice. I'm bald because I'm bald. <laughs> I can't pull off the... What's the dude from The Office? Kevin with Chili, where he has the huge empty ring around his head? I hate that. That shit... I, it, it... It... Like, there's maybe like 1% of people that that actually looks good on. And the people who think they rock it a lot of the time aren't really rocking it. The only difference is it's easier to shave your head uh, when you lose hair. Yeah. In other words, I'm jealous. I mean, just keep up with shaving your head. I, it's not really that hard. I think, like, what, once every three days is probably... Once every four days is probably the max you can go without having an issue doing it easily. Double crown. That was annoying. I have this brand of razors. It's just like a generic, like not even generic. Uh, I just have like thick, reasonable razors and they last me forever. And they like, they cut the hair so well. It's, it's like it smoothly glides across my head, which, if I was using like a regular disposable razor, my head would be covered in cuts. There was a point where I was trying to manage with just a normal, like, disposable razor, and it was, it was fucking me up. I watch you hatching the Elder Egg for the Circus Park. You deserve this. Oh, uh, what'd you do? Go back? Oh, yeah. Disposable razor of trash. Yeah, they're... Like, if you can use them normally, whatever, that's fine. But for shaving your head, that is just asking for it to rain blood. Yeah, watch the VOD. This <laughs> stream's not even over and you're already watching the VOD. That's how much you like the stream. Yeah, when I when I first moved to my friend, I was just using disposable razors after the one reusable one I had was like just fucked. Uh, I knew I wasn't gonna make that. Just from the size of the egg, I feel like I wasn't gonna make that, and I still went for it anyway. But like every time I went to go shave my head, I was basically just bleeding everywhere. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that one. I will hatch this egg, though. Just in case I need the butterfly later. If it's going to grow at all. I don't think I'll be able to use this egg. Oh! Uh, 
the circus stage as a victory should be celebrated is it is 100 percent a shave head is so nice i too ahem anal when it comes to razor shaving if it's not perfectly smooth everywhere it bothers me yeah there's so that that's one thing i absolutely hate um when i was a kid i got into a like a skateboarding accident and now there's like a dent in the back of my head that I cannot get a razor to perfectly shave. Oh no, the anxiety, all oh, the anxiety, please stop. Oh, okay. Wait, this is fucked. Bro, how do you expect me to do this? I guess, like that. Um, I was scratching the back of my head bothering me as a kid. Not a dent, but it's easy to go over. Yeah, the dent is not easy to go over. I can get most of it, but there's always like a little, a little patch of fuzz that just refuses to go away. Is, is this room supposed to look like this? I feel like... I see the boxes. Can I just like... I needed to come this way anyway. That's at least what it looked like. My sexual awakening is when I sh uh, shaved headed man. So that's always going to be a part of me. <laughs> Understandable. have an egg now. That this is an issue. I kind of needed that game. Can I? I think I can make that gap. I don't think this level is supposed to look like this. I mean, maybe it was. I don't know. Go ahead to the dark gate. You'll have to fight Dark Corvo. He's much more tougher than any of the bosses you have fought up until now. Uh, and I'm not going in here with full health, so it's gonna suck. Try using dog to clear it. I don't know, I can't remember. Dog? Also, let's go back to... Hello. Cool, my hotkeys just stopped working. Pause. Go back to it. Uh, the pelican dog thing. Oh god, yeah, this boss is the one I... I'm pretty sure this is the one I got stuck on the most. So, this feels like a different kind of fight. Maybe there's two phases of this one, that's what I'm remembering. Either two phases, or... I have to fight him again later.
I'll be honest, the fact that I lived through that is pure luck. I did not realize until the third firewall is hitting that I was using the egg to block it. Ah. The ice boss is a lot less intimidating when he doesn't have all those effects going on around him. No, my egg! Stop that. Oh, I see what's happening. I'm... They're stopping and I'm not killing them. That's my bad. So much. Okay, so when they stop. Oh, thank God. I can easily just outrun the lizard. I feel like I could do this 100%. Now that I'm coming here with full health, I might be able to do it. As long as he doesn't spam that multi crow thing, I'll be fine. Busted, I gotta just I gotta switch it out. This should be final phase. Never mind. Damn, if I just didn't get hit.
Last hit. And I'm pretty sure that's the end of... That should be the end of this fight? And now it's time for phase... No. Okay. So... There is one more boss, and this is one I was confusing for the other one. Good morning. Okay. So, from, there is another level. Oh, of course there's this... No oh, we didn't even... I don't know why I thought that was the end of the game. So we still have another, like, stage to do. Uh, well done, Billy. Can't believe you defeated Dark Corvo. You just might be able to save this world. You probably already know, the giant egg is located in the uh, giant palace in a castle high above the sand ruins. The saying goes like this. When the two chickens come face to face, the path shall open. He who opens the door, show your courage, and light six, and the six shall give a rise to a rainbow. The answer lies there, beyond the rainbow's touch. If you can figure out this riddle, the get path of the great palace shall surely open. Yeah, we might have a reason to like. Yep. Um. Going overtime on stream, but I think I'm okay with that. Let's go! Billy Drew Mary Mary, yes. Basically, God's telling us to make the two statues face each other. That we already know. Sorry. Oh. Am I missing something? I think I was supposed to like run halfway up and then do. Yeah, there we go. You have no limitations, it's your stream, Mr. Tork. Wow. Thank God. We're all missing something. Let's miss something together. <laughs> Why? we could go either or and I don't know if that's inherently true yeah. that egg is gone yeah. Yeah. I pressed B instead of jump that's my bad Playing on a different controller than the intended one does add mental gymnastics to playing with the controller. Whenever I see press A, my brain for some reason connects it to press X. So...
I'm used to X being the jump button when I'm playing with this controller. Literally anything. Always X. This game, it's circle. <laughs> I could rebind it though. I, I bind it in the way that it's the same binds as a Switch co Pro controller. Which now that I'm thinking, I probably could have just played this with a Switch Pro controller. Nothing's stopping me from playing this with a Switch Pro controller now that I'm thinking about it more. My bad. I love that we saved both Chick and Rolly, but we have not even attempted to save Batan. Bat -bat Batam? It was something weird. They don't say the names in this game, so I can never really be sure what how they're actually pronounced. And this game hasn't, like, been relevant in, like, 20 years, so... Or can I look up, like, a video or something where they pronounce it? Can you just... just please. For once, can we make this section not annoying as hell? You know what? I can't make that jump back up, so I have to do this in one go. No, I won't use, I'm gonna use the purple egg. Cause you know what, the purple egg's nicer and watches it immediately does the same exact shit. Oh, it already counted as the gate closed, so I could have just done a roll jump onto this rail and just gone with the egg. Why is Kid Goku dressed as a chicken rolling an egg? Why not? Butterfly. Butterfly in my ass.
If I can get, like, a monster egg, I'd appreciate it. Like that one down there. Come on. Well, I guess I'm waiting for the green egg to respawn then. Famous and ruined chicken. Yeah. I kind of figured that out. Yeah. <gasps> I. That was not fun. It's like barely giving me enough like yeah. height to get up here normally. I say Billy, but it's my stupid ass, but Billy, please. Yeah, why wasn't that working last time? so anxious. I hate this. Yeah. <sighs> oh, at least puts me right here. Yeah. Oh, I have one more attempt at this. Yeah. How is not Billy just vomiting from this? So I'm supposed to do a long jump over there, but when I do it, it keeps aiming in the wrong direction. I don't know if I actually have to hold down the stick in that direction, but that's what I've been trying to do. That might be what's fucking me up. I kind of feel bad that we just kind of left Baton to go fuck himself. Maybe we should go grab him before <laughs> before we end up doing the final boss. Ah, uh, he knew he was getting in too. <laughs> I mean, honestly, no one did. Because, like, these kids were kind of low-key kidnapped and brought here. Like, it wasn't their choice to come and, like, 
they saved one chicken from a crow, and all of a sudden they were all transported here. Three which were strapped to bombs. Like... What? The what? He ledge grabbed and then immediately gets like, you know what? No. Ledge grabbing doesn't exist. repeating the whole like thing with the golden egg I'm gonna push you on and you're just gonna go never mind game is like, if I were to give this game a rating so far, it's like an 8 out of 10. It could be a perfect game, but those rails are just fucking dog water. That's my bad. I was going to try and do the, the roll thing like we tried in the carnival. What was that sound? Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Th these are big oofs right here. I, I feel like I'm just rushing things again, so it's not necessarily game. Yeah. I'm either doing things wrong or I'm rushing things, so this, this game over is my bad, but mine is the one where we died on the rail. The first time, at least. Second time where I rolled onto it. That, that was all my B. I was going to say, this part we have down pat, but we just died on this part. If we can at least touch the switch and then die, I'll be happy. If we end up getting this first go, then you know what, that'd be even better. But I doubt... I'm pressing X to doubt. What if I just... What if I did this? If I bump the other egg in there with an egg, you know, maybe that would keep me from dying. That was my train of thought anyway. Hi, Tasha. This time we can't just send it full force down there, though. Now I'm gonna go get some food. Get that food, Tasha. May I suggest chicken? 
<laughs> Don't be mean to the little cheeky chicks. <laughs> well, maybe they wouldn't stop being such little cheeky cunts. I wouldn't have to be so mean to them. <laughs> These bees are worse than the chickens, though. in this game. I can't believe we're just now discovering the pineapple meta. God, even just talking like that makes me hate myself. <laughs> Now you'll do the inflation thing. As if you already weren't looking at that Sonic fan art. We know. We know, B. We know your charmy fetishist 97. Egg. But, I mean, we already had a butterfly, so there's no reason for us to get that egg. So instead, I'm going to go up here by ignoring these guys first, and I'm going to go get this green egg. I would totally get a stuffed animal with this thing. Using it in the game? Nah. But a stuffed animal. Hundo. Checkpoint, baby! Well, not new, but... Made it here very easily. If you just make it past this part, you should be home free. Super monkey ball ass part of the level. I deserve that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just imagining Billy making so many fucking puking sounds while going down this section. I shouldn't have made that. Yeah. 
Ooh. That was almost so bad. Oh, I have to press it again to stop it. Okay. What? Oh, okay. I hope it doesn't fuck this up. Six lights shall give rise. Gotta mean the thing in the center of this place, Rainbow Gate. Must lead to the Rainbow Palace. Billy, you must open the Rainbow Gate and free the Rainbow Lights. Okay. Billy, I heard that you were deemed not ready to set free the lights of the rainbow and go to the giant palace. It is said that the ancient chickens who sealed away the giant egg left the future in the hands of the brave. Mr. Chairman, you have gathered more emblems of courage. They shall lead you to the giant palace. <laughs> Let's go to each land and collect, gather all the emblems of courage you can find. Oh, fuck me. We have to go save Baton. I did all that for nothing. <laughs> Let's go! And we'll do a couple more stages, and I guess, um... Um... Maybe, like, Tuesday? We'll just kind of sit and try to complete this game. Yeah! I don't know, we'll see how we feel after doing a couple of levels. Not big enough. Damn it. I wish the whole need to gather all the emblems thing was mentioned before. You know, doing that level. Mostly because, like. I'm still not 100% sure the final boss fight is playable in this. So I wasn't really looking to invest like a whole completionist playthrough, you know? So I guess that's on me. I, I still, do I need to like get eyes and shit? Is that how this works? Do I need to find like a carrot? Oh no, okay. Fuck you.
upside down. <laughs> Billy, no, that's not. <laughs> I mean, it was an easy stage. I just don't think Billy knows how to make a proper snowman. Good morning. Good morning. There he is. Save Batam. Batam, not Batan. Let's go! Uh, your friend Batam is being caught by the crows. If you don't hurry up and rescue him, the bombs will explode and the crows will... Yep. This is actually a character that I like playing as a multiplayer, so I'm going to make an effort to get to him as fast as possible. That, and I just don't want to be here longer than I have to. Ah, oh, fuck, but this means we have to go back and do the eight chicken stage. If we need to get all the... Uh, I don't know where the eight chicken is. We never found out. Come on, man. Guy again. Those look like we can go down. I think that's a new... This might be... We might have gotten the electric egg before. Saved our friend. Did it. 
Thank you, Billy. You saved my life. You probably got more, uh, get a bit more out of this use of courage than I will, so I want you to have it. Great, now eat him. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, chickens do cannibalize each other, don't they? Maybe that's part of the suit's power, is it kind of gives us the urge for cannibalism. <laughs> Also, I love that our Super Saiyan here. An S rank! That's our second S rank this entire game. Phantom has joined you. So, you have to do the eight chickens in that one. I guess we have to, do, do we really have to finish every save? There's another fin- oh, Save the eight chickens. Save the eight chickens. Save the eight- Oh, there's so many chickens to save. Let's do Secret of the Windmill. I, I don't feel like saving any more chickens. Fuck them chickens. Uh, Raleigh, you heard there's an emblem of courage in the forest inside this, uh, the building with the windmill. It looks like not even Billy knew about it. You better hurry and get that emblem. Of course Billy didn't know about it. Billy doesn't know about anything until you tell him. This god sucks. Oh, I'll get the double jump, but... Yeah, I hope, I hope you're doing well uh, today, Ant. You probably just woke up, huh? Yeah, still up morning. Well, in the words of Billy Hatcher, good morning. Games are good. Um, going a little overboard on stream. Uh, I thought we were going to wrap up today, uh, but the level I got stuck on last time took us about an hour to beat because of the level being jank, so that was fun. Um, and now I'm learning I have to complete every stage to, uh, well not complete, beat every stage to beat the final boss. Someone say chances of establishing dominance? I don't think so. Did we? Oh. Uh <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't. Mm. Some people just think of the nerve to eat their friends. Yeah. I'm one of them people. At least, not in a cannibalistic sense. Bitch. I'm just calling everyone in this game a bitch. Because that's what they acted like. Fucking bitches. With cannibalistic, I feel like it was implied cannibalism. So this is the cool new hat. It's just remote control. Genuinely, it's actually fun. Honestly, I feel like using the RC hat would be a better way to get this thing on the rails than how it actually intends for you to get that on the rails. I also did not know why I did not attack it with the penguin. Yeah. 
No, no! That's the, I think, the second or third time where I've tried to just move away from a slide and instead the slide, like, magnetized me to it. It just made me slide off the level. Yeah. Because... I, I, I want to make sure I wasn't... Ma maybe it was, like... I was like, maybe it is a skill issue. And then I just tried moving forward just then. It's like, no, you're not allowed. Sorry, you're stuck here. So there's a range on it. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm fine with this. It works, so I'm fine with it. Egg alone. Yes, we love our gay little seal friend.
We did it. I honestly did not expect even to get a B rank, so I'll take it. So, from what I read just now, we only need 25 emblems to get to the last level of the game. So, we're just too short. Let's get to go do the level again and see if we can go take on that boss. Now it looks like the crows have done their dirty work here as well. Uh, the crows have stopped the giant clock of Circus Park, and it's been running non-stop for over 100 years. They probably drained the power from the four batteries surrounding the clock's tower. If you could find something to recharge the power of the batteries, the clock should start moving again. So, find an electric monkey. Got it. Oh, no, we're making... Okay. Oh, speaking of Watcher Monkeys, Egg is right there. This is not. I don't think there's any more than like one elemental animal. Maybe no. I think the bull also does fire. I mean the lion kangaroo also does fire compared to like. I mean I don't know. I don't think there's another electric enemy or like pet to get. There are four batteries, yep. Yo, yeah, I hope you had a good dinner. Um, we went, we did the third level to unlock the Rainbow Road in the sand level but it said hey bitch you don't have enough emblems come back when you when you got the emblems so i guess now we need to get to 25 to uh beat the last boss which i think we're two away from You found my strategy guide and sent you a picture. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, since you have the strategy guide, can you confirm that we only need 25 emblems to fight the last boss? Not that I don't trust game facts, but it's just that I don't trust game facts. <laughs> Game facts is okay for some games, though there has been a couple of cases where like 
I'll play a game, go to Game Facts, and it gives me completely wrong information. No, we did a roll. Like we did a rolly stage, and we did a chick stage. I think I don't. Did we do a chick stage? We might have done a chick stage. I think we did chicks like forest level stage. We haven't done a bantam stage. Is there one of his stages that does? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's at least play every character once. You know. Let's go. But Phantom, it's an emergency. The crows have come back to the forest and they're trying to take over again. You have to defeat a hundred of them. Got it. Genocide. Let's go. Oh, that's another Sonic egg we can't get. Okay. Yeah, Pip, let's we'll go. I mean, I prefer Chimchar, but I'll take it. That's a new egg. Oh! This is a bomb! Okay. I, uh... Don't know why it's giving a child explosives, but... King confirm is 25 needed for the Rainbow Gate, but then this is the last normal stage we'll need to play. Oh, I still have Piplop? I thought, like, after four uses, he just kind of disappeared. Now he disappears. Wah! Wah! Can you do the other thing? Me, please? Woody There we go. I also said the final boss, the stock of at least 10 lives. Uh, is there even like a good place to grind for lives? How do you grind for lives in this game? Also, I don't know if a game was designed necessarily well if the developers like in the guide were like, you know what? We do recommend you at least get 10 lives though, you know? But I understand that because the final boss of this game does fucking suck. I think I've only seen the final Pirate Stage 5. That's what they recommended. Can I just like 
just wondering if it's possible, like, could I just, like, go in, grab the extra life, quit, and just do that? Or do I need to actually beat the stage? In Pirate Stave I Stage 5 is save the eight chickens. You know? I'm sure. I, I feel like you would say, you know, I'm not sure. But I understand. I mean, I guess I never check to see if an egg that drops a 1-up when it respawns drops another consecutive 1-up. But I guess we can find out now. If I can. There we go. I'm thinking it probably would have been easier like earlier on in the game. I grinded for lives before doing the carnival stage. Let's see. Oh! Alright, well, we're gonna sit here for a second. <laughs> Since we're already like getting. Um, I think there's stationary fruit, right? Actually, I don't think there is, so we might need to go to a different stage. Oh, there's A. Shit. Also, I think this blue one's a new egg, too. Um, let's just check around for stationary fruit real quick. Because I feel like they would have at least given us a couple of things, you know? I don't, I don't think they really gave us a lot of stationary fruit. use invincibility because I'm not 100% confident in my ability to stay alive on one health. That was pretty high. I mean, boom, nine lives right there. They will probably lose some, though, in the transition from the Rainbow Gate to the final stage, but we will adapt. Oh my god. Hi, Oral. Thanks for the resub. How are you doing today? Hope your day has been going well. At least well. I'm doing okay. You know, the game stressed me out a little bit. Might have given me a little raise in BP. But we're living. I don't know if blood pressure is really something to be like, yes, daddy, for. Oh, 
No! No more bees! Come on! I don't even have a friend anymore! And- oh, okay, never mind. Got my butterfly. Probably use that. Doubt they'll give, an give us another one up egg, but just in case. Yeah, figured. One more crow. Thank you, Bantam, for picking the egg up. Why do they give us so many crows to kill? We only needed a hundred. Also just gonna grab that first and then go get it. But yeah, other than that one stage we got stuck on for an hour. Good. Uh, we're probably gonna... I'm going to attempt to beat this game tonight. I'm going to attempt... We're already like two and a half hours over stream because I thought one boss was the final boss, but I was very much mistaken. Hey, that's not bad. But now we meet the minimum requirement to go fight the final boss, which means we need to go now beat open the rainbow gate. Hopefully, hopefully, I don't fuck it up too bad. Because we, I, I just, I have ten lives, and I don't want to, or nine. I've never beaten the final boss, and I'm scared to see the final boss in this game, because apparently one of the known glitches in this overclocked GameCube is that you can't see the final hazards of the final boss. And that's going to be a real shame if... I make all this effort to get to a final boss that I can't beat anyway. Yeah. Like, I never understood the final boss's mechanics when you got the giant glowing ball. So whenever I got to that point, I would like get close to killing him, but never actually win. Eventually, I just got so frustrated to the point where I just stopped playing. Alright. Gotta do that shit again. <laughs> Fucking egg. the final boss that's a big bug yeah for anyone who doesn't know the final boss's mechanic is um he throws these giant puddles of darkness on the floor and you need to kind of like mop them up with the uh, like the special egg thing that you're given and if you can't see where that is then the boss is like pretty much unplayable like, unless maybe you memorized, like, the patterns of where the, like, obstacles can land up, or, like... It, it's a weird thing. God damn it. I hate these motherfucking bees.
But if we do make it that far and that is a thing that happens, I'm, I'll still give it a shot. I'll, I'll try my best with what I have. And if need be, I might need to replay this game on like a Wii U or something. If possible, like I can see if I can get my Wii U back. That means I'm gonna like off stream need to go and do at least 25 stages again, which means I'll have to redo the carnival stage. I'll be honest, I didn't even really plan to, like, beat this game on stream, honestly. It's just that now that we've gotten as far as we have, I want to. Luckily, if I play on the Wii U, I modded my Wii U, so I'm able to use any kind of Bluetooth controller with it. So it won't suck if I don't have a GameCube controller. I don't have to use the fucking disgusting-ass tablet. The tablet's fine. It's just not good for playing most games. Like, if the game makes use of it, yeah, that's cool. But if I'm playing, like, a Wii game or something, and that's the only control... Like, if I am playing Pokin, and I have to use the tablet, I'm not going to have fun. Like, Pokin Tournament, I love that game. I originally played it on the Wii U. I was amazing at that game. But I can tell you right now, playing that game on the tablet, I would rather pull teeth. I did it again. 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 Uh, the tablet had a lot of like what is it what's the word promise no kind of potential but they really didn't make good use of it outside of like a few first party titles maybe uh, uh, Fatal Frame game. I mean, also, I'm not gonna lie, I have a complete bias against the Wii U. Um, that was the first console I ever bought myself. Because, like, I was in high school, I was still really into Nintendo, and all these cool games are coming out, you know? Like, Mario Kart, um, you know, Fatal Frame, Donkey Kong Country Returns, I believe? Um, also, I just wanted it because it was just a Wii as well, and I've always wanted a Wii. I think I used the Wii portion of that thing more than I used the Wii U portion. That console could have done way better if they actually made an Animal Crossing for it. Um, some sort of Pokemon game for it that wasn't the shitty, like, Pokemon Rumble. <sighs> Oof, that was my bad. Nintendo Land was fun. It made good use of the tablet, but Nintendo Land is a game where if you're playing it alone, it's there's no point. There's no point to play that game if you're playing it alone. <laughs> Please don't make me waste all 10 of these lives. Like, I'm glad I grinded the lives so I have the opportunity to like fuck up this much here, but I'd, I'd rather save these for the boss.
Alright. And then... We just turn the statues again. I don't know where the enemy spawned. I heard it spawn. I just, I just don't know where it is. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. The only game on Wii U that I think would fit it perfectly, and this is going to sound stupid, is Five Nights at Freddy's. Being able to have all the displays and every like the normal desk and whatnot up on the top screen and then using the bottom screen as the tablet you use in-game, that sounded perfect to me. Also, I feel like it should have had a better DS emulation uh, with some games. With so a lot of the... A lot of DS games made it so, like, the t bottom screen was, like, an inventory or a map or something that wasn't really useful, where, you know, it wouldn't really hurt as much as if you just made the, your actual TV, like, the game and the bottom screen just the bottom screen. But games, like, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story would not work since you need to turn the screen sideways next to each other. Um, I think they made a... Yeah, I did it! You must get into the giant palace uh, before Dark Raven and retrieve the giant egg. Yeah, we might need a good morning emote. Not gonna lie. Now, I think there is a whole level leading up to the boss fight that I need to do to actually do the boss, which, if I remember correctly, is a huge pain in the ass. Let's go! But, Billy, we're too late. Dark Raven already seems to have taken over the giant palace as well. I can feel his evil power at work, but it must still got a chance. The giant egg hasn't hatched yet, so you must hurry to center it before they get, uh, to get the giant egg. Yeah. What is that? Is that an enemy? What are you? This is the giant palace temple which giant arrests. We are the egg spirits. We have been charging, uh, charged with the duty of protecting the holy giant egg. Billy, there isn't much time. You must hurry and go to the giant egg. But, but first, I'm gonna ditch this. Let me grab that. Like, I'm hoping and I'm praying that the whole, like, last boss's thing missing is just kind of like a... Kind of like how when Billy loses his texture sometimes, where it just, it happens, but it comes back. I'm praying that it's like that. And, you know, if it's not... That's 100% my fault. I went into this game knowing that bug was a thing. is not the eagle. But I will exchange this for the rabbit. I do prefer the rabbit over the seal. Or 
Yeah, you're, it's like a little little seal, little por porcupine or hedgehog seal. I'm actually having flashbacks to this level. I don't remember that first section, but I remember this, this like right here. And I feel like something not fun is ha gonna be happening soon. That's not the boss fight. I think as a kid I was able to consistently get up to the boss fight without dying, but I would lose so much of the boss that I'd have to redo it multiple times. You get that? I, I, I had to bring the pot. It felt like there was going to be a coin in there. I don't... I could have... Was that... Am I blind? I could have sworn that that was an egg for any of the electric thing. Oh... No, metal is orange and electric is yep. Why is metal orange? Why isn't metal gray? Uh oh. So I need to beat all the enemies. Did I not? Wait, does it want me to prevent enemies from entering here? The door's gonna be opened without light being signed upon it. Oh, and this, let me guess, because this monster moves at the speed of light. Big brain. Oh, oh, we see him, we, we see it. This is not the mechanic I was talking about. not am I doing something wrong I thought I was gonna be like uncovering all of these we see the puddles exactly the chicken seal is embodiment of light and the Sun can be covered in darkness by dark room Billy please you must use the power of the eggs to destroy the darkness you can confirm puddles are seen Or, oh, I think I actually have to, like, clear out a hole. Yeah. You skank. They, they lag behind a little bit. I think you have to clear a single... Yeah, so, like, it seems like the puddles lag behind a bit or don't clear 100% accurately to what I'm doing. But, I mean, I feel like that's a lot more manageable than just flat out not being able to see them at all.
Oh. Like a normal egg's fine, but I think I'd rather take the butterfly before fighting the final boss. So weird. It's like I remember parts of this level, but not like this. I mean, it wouldn't be 100% on brand for me, though, if growing up, I only got to this boss, like, once, and then quit. But I know I fought him more than one time, so I think I'm just... I, I, I think my trauma brain was like, you know, no, you don't need to remember this. Oh my god, what if my brain labeled this level as like a trauma and just. and just completely just sort of wiped it from my memory? I'd believe that. Okay, but the circus level. The circus level is a great example of that. Like, I remember bits and pieces of the circus level. I knew it sucked. But when we actually went to go do it, I remembered almost... I remember the beginning part. Everything after getting the golden egg, though, I was drawing a complete blank on. They knew. They knew that was going to happen. Goodbye, fruit. I guess I didn't need you anyway. I mean, I'll take pineapple. Okay, then this is... I think I have to roll over the shadows? Right? Oh, no, I have to chase them into here. This is just like the... This, this feels like one of the minigame thing... Not minigames, one of the shine sprites in Mario Sunshine. With all the little manta rays running around Pina Beach or whatever. stretch at the level. Oh no, look at it though. It's a rail. There's a rail. All that stands between us and the boss is a rail. <laughs> Surprise, the rail is the reason why they recommend you having 10 lives. It's not the actual boss itself. The boss is easy. The rails are hard. What? Okay, not, not as great as a plan as I thought. And nor do I even really need to fight this guy, so... That's... Oh, this is 
gonna suck, isn't it? I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a game over at this point, aren't I? Design the rail code. I just want to talk. Exactly. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I like that I've been secretly hitting this guy this entire time without even realizing him being here. Damn, y'all got health for days. Chill out. Give me a one up. No. No, it's hopeful. Oh, I didn't even need to kill everything. I just need to go up here. And I failed at that as well. Yo, what's up, Andy? Yeah, we, uh, we, we back in Rail City, baby. On our way to go beat the final boss, but the final boss secretly this whole time. We're Rails. You know, when someone mentioned getting railed after, while, while playing this game, this is what I thought they had in mind. <sighs> we have like six lives for this. Hopefully everything works fine. <laughs> Okay, we see it, we see it. It's a little laggy, but it works. Damn, wasn't fast enough. I can't touch it now? Oh, I think I have to clear it out before he does that. Damn, it's like... Oh, why aren't I just doing that? It's kind of hard to clear them out when they're both connected to each other. That could just be a skill issue. It's probably a skill issue. It just came back. Am I doing something wrong?
I'm getting close to clearing out the whole circle, and then near the middle it just stops. Mm, I'm gonna pause and look this up real quick. Like, I know you're consulting that I don't- I'm not meaning, like, the strategy on how to, like, beat this boss, more of just, like... No, I'm doing it right. Um, oh, okay. So they do work. But I need to. Ch I think I need to change a setting. Um. There we go. I don't know if that's going to fix it, or I might need to restart the game, but hopefully that helps. If I have to restart the game, uh, we'll, we'll see. Oh, now it's like working, working. Okay, I just had a, I, I had a wrong thing set in the emulator. I mean, my totally legit GameCube. I still might need to reset, though. Yeah, I might need to reset. Alright, one second. You know, it sucks that we'll have to redo that stage a bit, but... At least I know why it's happening. So, make sure that's set to the right thing again. Because I just opened the setting, even though I put it to the right thing, it went all the way to the wrong one. I'm beating this game tonight. I don't... I don't... I'm beating this game tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna, now that the game's open, double-checking the settings. good now like i thought that i set the setting correctly while i was in the boss fight but as soon as i closed it and checked the settings again it set it to a different setting and when i opened the game it changed it to a different setting again so this might be a, i have to reset dolphin itself kind of issue but it seems to be working fine or saving the setting uh preference now that, and now that I've played through the stage, I know what I'm doing. Hopefully I won't lose so many lives. Oh. Okay, if only I... Yeah. Yeah. If only I read the thing earlier. I probably could have also seen if there was a, a fix for... 
the the text box bug that kept happening where exclamation points are filling all the empty spaces. Now they're gonna give us a one-up at the beginning of the stage. I feel like I did that last time we put through this too. that rabbit egg. There it is. Yeah, hopefully bug is fixed. It seems they saved the, like, the setting now. I don't know if I'll have to reset the game again to make sure it's enabled. I don't think Dolphin makes you do that. Usually Dolphin is pretty chill with being able to change the settings on the fly without having to reset, and usually if you do have to reset, I think it tells you if you have to. I mean, the lag of the puddles themselves seems to have stopped. And it seems like they're being accurately wiped away. Then you press it on Discord. I'll, I'll check that out after this. I hope it's a Billy Hatch from the giant egg hat in real life. I would 100%. Oh, uh, I think I know what it is. Okay. For a second, I thought Spencer was the one that typed that, since the uh, shades of green are somewhat similar. That's my bad. I lived. I didn't waste a life. I will gladly take that. One's here. One's over here. And I think there's only three. Wait, I just noticed your little egg earring. Yeah! That was a... It was something I did in the rough draft. And just kind of, like, forgot about it. And after I finished it last night, I was like, fuck, I forgot the earring. So I went back and I added it. Because, like, when I make things for my kit, it doesn't have to be exclusively hats. Um, even though I don't plan on, like, playing... Well, I mean, this is also a hat idea, but also this is just something I would like to share as an idea. Um, but since the Mega Man Battle Network collection is coming out next week, and that's, like, one of my most anticipated games of this year... I, um, I'm probably going to end up making a Mega Man.exe hat, or, I, I don't know, I might just, like, pick one of my favorite navvies, like Proto Man, and, like, make a helmet for that. Like, I'm so excited for that game.
I had a little PET with battleships locked back in the... Alright, so... That reminds me of something. Sorry, so, um... When we moved to this area, I too had a PET. I had the blue Mega Man PET, and I had a shit ton of battle chips, right? But when we first moved here, my grandmother was kind of a bitch about, like, letting me have my things. So it needed to go in the attic. So that and a bunch of my other stuff went to the attic, and when I tried, like, later on in life, when I got my own room and everything, being like, hey, you know... Would it be cool of me going in the attic and doing things? I would be gaslit that I didn't have anything in the attic. And I still, like, never was able to go up and get them. And it sucks, because looking- have you looked at a price for an English Mega Man PET? That shit is expensive. And the moment I tried like, explaining to my mom, like, Hi, I would like to go upstairs and get this. Because if I wanted to get a replacement, it would be this much. Instead, she just joked about when I did find it, about selling it. Like, I was a big Mega Man.exe fan. Like, big. I had, like I said, the PET, the battle chips. I also had a figure with the interchangeable arms. I had, I only played Mega Man Battle Network 4 growing up. Uh, and that was kind of my gateway into the series. Because I had this friend. I either had a, got it from a, a friend who didn't like the game because they thought it was going to be like a classic Mega Man game, or my cousin who got it as like a hand me down or got it at a thrift store. But like, I was really into that game. I liked how like the tournaments kind of had their own kind of randomized story to them. So every time you played through the game, you'd be doing different stories for different net navvies. Um, I think I got to, like, the third tournament of the game, and I had to go to, like, this weird Antarctic place, and you weren't able to progress the story unless you had a specific heat-based battle chip, which I didn't have, and I didn't know where to grind it from, and that's before you could look things up on the interwebs. So, I just stopped playing the game. I still have that copy of the game. I just never play it. Because I don't have a Game Boy anymore. Well, I, I do have a Game Boy Advance SP like upstairs. It's just like, if I were to pick up that game right now and try to play it, I would remember absolutely nothing besides I'm stuck and I don't know what to do. I mean, I could easily Google it and continue it, but I think what I'm going to do is just play through the games that the Battle Network Collection comes out. I am bummed that, uh... best one I found is $300. Yep. And back when I was looking that up, that was like, when I was looking that up, it was like in middle school, right? It was like $120. Trying to get a PET or one of the Brother Bond things from Star Force is an absolute nightmare. Hell, like, you could probably get like one of the Japanese PETs, but like, I, like, I don't, I don't want, I want it in a language I could read, you know? Like, I want what I had during my childhood. I remember one time in my first year of sixth grade. For those of you who don't know, I was left behind in sixth grade because I had a teacher who highly preferred my sister. And because I did, I was not like her. He kept mark giving me like lower grades and shit to the point where I had to repeat sixth grade. Because back in my old middle school, like um, you couldn't they, like they didn't have a teacher for every subject. They uh, they had two teachers in charge of three of your subjects each, and then special classes that had their own teachers like computer, home ec, sewing, stuff like that. And I I know sewing and home ec sounds like it would be the same class. It wasn't. They had two different teachers that you'd have to switch between two like halves of the year for. But the teacher I had was in charge of my English history, language arts, and that might have been it. But three major subjects was enough to fail, so Cool, right? 
they got they got what was cut. They they got bad karma though. They got karma real bad. I'm not gonna say what it is because it's gonna make me sound like the asshole. But I want you to remember that his petty de decision influenced basically my entire life. No, it was technically not in a bad way. Because if I was not left behind, I would have never met Charlie or any of my other friends. But I'm still fucking bitter as fuck. Sent you a bonus gift on Discord. Alright, I'll check it out as soon as I'm able to get past this bouncing hellscape. Why, why is it so- I got this first try last time, and now I am struggling. I am 100% on the struggle bus. I'm gonna have to clear out these enemies. I- I cannot risk this. One thing I didn't know, um... That when it came to the Battle Network series, in English, it ended at, like, the second season. Like, that was it. Where the games and the series in Japan continued on for, like, another three or four seasons. And that's what, like... Oh? Um. I thought this wasn't a one-up egg. But I kind of want to try and watch those, except no official subs of those series watch. Yo, like, I I am so mad that Star Force just did not get the love it deserved. Mega Man Star Force was legitimately my favorite take on the Battle Network kind of, like, formula. I... Hate, I, uh, the only thing I hated of that game was it was one of those, you beat the game. There is no post-game, really. There is a go back to your, like, final save before you did the final boss, and then just replay it. Like, I would try and go back and finish side quests and stuff I started. But, it just... I, I was never able to actually talk to any NPCs. They would always just make comments about, like, how I needed to save the world and they believed in me. Kind of shit. My sp I mean, I was, I'm only able to get, like... I can get more than ten lives. Hold up. This is a game changer. Gonna get, like, one more fruit. No, I don't think there's any more fruit. 11 lives, though. That's not bad. But now we know if we do have to reset, just in case, you know. I, I'm I, I'm hoping the bug is fixed. But just in case, we now know that we can just grab that egg. Oh, wait, no. Hold up. I see a cherry. I'm gonna go pop that cherry real quick. Oh, these ones respawn. So I, I could just farm these two. Oh, the banana respawned, too. Alright, let's get, like... I think we're, what, 12 lives? Let's get, like, one more, if possible. I feel like as long as the game works, I'm not too worried. Oh my god, Snake. I love you with a mohawk, by the way. Second one's Q2. Let's... 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 let's, let's uh, I want to be like 15. Had? Question mark? Had, past tense? What you talking about? It's still cute.
I'm gonna, my ranking is totally gonna like flop because of this. But I still have the on. Do, wait, no. This is after the on rail section. I completely blocked out the on rail section trauma. Even though it's right there. Um. Oh, but there's the banana. Now we just need the cherry and the apple to respawn. There's the apple. There's the cherry. I'm, I mean, I kind of get why they would tell you to life spam on like level, like an earlier level. But honestly, like if this shit works, this is like this is a great spot for farming lives before the final boss. You're past pretty much everything that's gonna be like a pain in the ass for the final fight. You know what? I'll get. I, I know I said I was gonna stop, but honestly, I'm gonna. I I don't think my health is gonna refresh when I go into the boss fight, so I'm gonna get one more since this is gonna be a throwaway life basically just to even see. Wait. Oh god, first we need. You know if I exit a stage if it's gonna like save not save like save the lives i collected because if so i might need to like go back to stage select to save and if i need to reset to make sure everything's working i'll still have like 16 lives Nope. That, I shouldn't have tried skipping over the platform. Try it worth a shot. What? Like, do the boss if it doesn't work. Go to stage. Oh, that's that's what we could do. We could do the boss if it doesn't work. Go to the stage select from there, and if we still have our lives, go be another stage, get the save, and then just refix it. That that sounds like a plan. Also, I feel like they wouldn't tell you to go and farm lives at a stage if you couldn't just like keep them after leaving. I'm just praying this works so I don't have to do that. The game is real, like, now that you got up here, you want to jump down for an, uh, a coin? You want that coin, bruh? I mean, I do. But leave me alone. I, I can't afford to get the coin. I just got here. I have one health. fucking hate leaving eggs on the ledge like that. It happens so much, too. They definitely needed to, like, add a little bit more height to the spin jump thing. Also, why does this dude just flat out feel like a JoJo character? No, Steam. I don't think you need to reset at the moment. Oh, but it did reset my, my health back to full. Oh, yeah. uh, the other one came back again. Yeah, we might... Wait, hold on. I'm gonna double-check these settings, because I know I changed it. Yeah. Do I still have this page open? The final level boss puddles don't appear clear if accurate texture cache is not set to safe. Refer to yeah, it is set to safe.
just double checking everything to make sure there's not like a similar setting. It sets the right thing. I might that again. Let's try and like do the puddles like one more time. Maybe I just missed the spot. Or maybe I have to do them both. select the stage. Okay, I still keep I still keep my lives, so can I just like play super easy level? to beat this, so I can easily just... No, no, Spence, you're fine. You're 100% fine. You're not backseat gaming. At least not to a point where it's bothering me. I 100% like if I messed up, I did, but I feel like I'm the game might still be a little fudged. So, like, if I was fucking up and there was a little bit left, like, it pro- like, that- that is fine. Then I think I just wait for the timer to end and it'll just teleport me to him again. Super easy level. This... So it should let me save after completing this, and then I will reset again, open the game, make sure that the setting is open to the correct thing at launch. <laughs> and then if that still doesn't work, then I'll probably call stream there and off stream until like Tuesday, troubleshoot the problem and see if I can fix it. And if not, then we will probably wait. To play this game again. Also, I'll just completely restart the thing just in case. So before I even open it, it is set to this to the setting I need. Okay.
So properties. Sorry for this, by the way. I feel like this is something I should have, like, prepared to, like, make sure it worked before I did it or anything. But it's just, like... Yeah, it keeps setting the texture cache to, like, medium every time I open the game. So it's definitely something that has to be changed before the game opens. Uh, sorry about that. Keep setting it. So it's like the thing I'm doing is supposed to fix it, right? But like, when I change it, it just sets it back to normal. I don't know if this is something that it has to, like, be, like the game has to start there, because it's not saving that. But I will try one more time, and if that does not work, I will, uh... I will just troubleshoot, and we'll do this on Tuesday. We have the live saved up, so we can easily just, like, knock this out really fast. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. We're trying to make sure the game wants to work. Uh, which, you know, let me double check now that we're playing the game. Even though I just triple checked. Graphics. Axe. Safe. I'm a coming later. Yo! Uh, what was it? Uh, Xlore? Yeah, welcome. Uh, we're currently on the final boss. We're having a little bit of technical difficulties uh, with the game not registering me clearing out the puddles on the final fight. So hopefully, like, this time it works. Um, if not, we'll probably come back to this game another time when I can get the issue solved. But I think after this attempt, I'm probably gonna... Probably gonna call stream there since we've been going for five and a half hours, which is three and a half hours longer than I usually go.
It sucks too because like it's extremely picky even without the even yeah exactly. Like even though I'm setting it to the right setting, it's still like yeah. Thanks for stopping by, Snake. The lawnmower technique? What's, what's the lawnmower? Is that like when you do this? Move over, do it again. Something I... I've only played this game as a child. I just kind of start from the outside and just kind of like... Just kind of like go inward. I just go in straight lines back and forth across the pools. Am I supposed to clear them both out at the same time? Because if I have to clear them both at the same time, that would explain it and why I was sucking. You only need to clear one pull at a time. In the entire fight? Ugh. Yeah, then we were definitely having issues. Because, like, this one, these ones worked fine. I mean, this does seem to work easier. Uh, it'll keep offering chances for you to clear more, but those are the extra. Yeah, okay. We had a couple issues up to this point. Main one being the rail system in the carnival stage, which is just a known piece of shit thing. Also, I think it's saved it saves the coins I get. That that's weird. I thought if I left the stage, it would have just kinda be like, you know what? No, you don't get to keep anything. You still gotta recollect them coins, but no. Shit, if I knew that earlier, I would have been cheesing this game so hard. Um. Uh. Saves coins, but not hatches. Also doesn't save one-ups. No, it, it saves one-ups. That's why we got 17 lives right now. We went back to the stage select and just beat another stage, and that's why we have 17 lives. We were farming lives at the end of the stage because I didn't realize there was a one-up egg there. Maybe the other level through, right? The one where you were farming on? No, we were farming on this level. Like, right before the final boss, there's, like, that big ring of enemies with the, the, like, the two spotted eggs. There's just three fruits, like a banana, a cherry, and an apple that keep respawning with a, an egg right next to it. And I just kept hatching it for a one-up. We just kind of discovered it on the fly, so... After we, the, for, the boss fight didn't work out... We just kind of went to the stage select and was like, hopes and prayers.
That was way easier than literally any other time we've done that. But, uh... This egg right here. Probably honestly gonna clear all these enemies and get like 20 lives. Just because I'm a fucking cheesy asshole like that. <laughs> nah, I deserve that. The game was like, you wanna be a cheesy asshole? We'll treat you like a cheesy asshole. Cheese is fair game. 100%. Because who doesn't love cheese? real quick. There we go. I'm fine with 20 lives. Now let's let's hope this works. Come on. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize my mouse was there. sound was really getting to me. Come on! Bro. I mean, I guess I should be jumping from here. I want someone to mod this game so that when Billy does this, he just yells obscenities at the egg. Like, you're an asshole. Shit like that. That's why we grind lives, baby. <laughs> I'm still fine with only 19. I thought you were leaving, Spence. <laughs> I'm fine with not having max lives. Also me. Well, not max. 20 lives, but then immediately. No, I hit well at 20. I think I need to do it again. Not leaving, just lurking. Gotta see you kick the final boss's ass. Uh. One day I'll jump up this rock successfully.
Please, please just work. Please just work. <laughs> I'll defeat you, Dio. Wherever the fuck you remind me of, cars probably. It's working! It's working! We're beating this boss, baby! <laughs> Yo, thanks for telling me about the lawnmower thing. That honestly might have been what was, like, causing the issue. I heard that bird is indeed Andy. I love your goofy ass. <laughs> ah. This is it. This is going to be what I've waited my entire life for. And by entire life, I mean probably for the last 16 years of my life, I've been anticipating beating this game. Oh, I feel like I'm supposed to make him run into him. Or not. Oh fuck, there was a little bit left. Most of the damage can be done with the war uh the worm attack. Or missiles or whatever they're called. Oh, I see what you mean. I don't need... I just need to clear out the one in the first to, like, start the rest of the fight. But past that, all I need to do is dodge the attacks to... Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you mean, I'll still try to clear out some circles. No, I don't, I think, uh, I, I, like, if it was on its own, I think I could do it, but that, that's a nah for me. I think not comprehending that is why I suck so much as a kid, because I would sit and constantly go into puddles and die, trying to, like, clear them all out. The second part of this boss fight, though, that was, like, what I would get to and immediately, like, start failing on horribly. Oh, they're, like, quills. Okay. Time to clear off another one. If I didn't get hurt, he probably would have fallen too. Like, he just needs one damage phase and he's gone. Bro, <laughs> chill out!
I get it now. I get it. And we have 19 lives for the rest of this. I think I'm set. And even if we die, I still have like 17 lives if we have to restart. I think. Honestly, I should have been using the boost every time. I don't know why I didn't think of this. Ah, oh, fuck. I saw where I missed. Okay, yeah. I'm... Right. It's like I get it. I'm just still a little, little lacking. I miss. Okay, I see what I missed. I can go back and get it. I think when the puddles touch, I'm just overall fucked. Oh, you want... Okay. Thank you. I think I. Uh, yeah. There we go. There's a weird gimmick with the system where if the region. Yeah, I, I, I was just now realizing that if the pools are touching and the left pool regens anything that was touching the right pool, it counts as it me not touching it. It's really fucking stupid. Yo, I don't know where you came from, Exelor, but I. I I appreciate having a Billy the uh, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg Master in chat. <laughs> Wait, why'd you fall over again? Boom, did it. I'm learning, baby. Yep, so close to being on his phase two. Also so close to dying because I don't have an egg, so it's hard to dodge these things. Oh, if I do hit him with it, he does fall over. Okay, so I was right. It's just that when I was doing it originally, I was just running away so fast that I didn't notice I was hitting him. But now I'm starting phase one with literally one hit. Or phase two? Oh, phase two is the part I hated the most because I never really understood how it worked. I think when he throws the thing at me, I have to like get ready to catch it, but I never really understood how to catch it. Ah. Oh, I think... Oh, did it... Oh, it gave me my health back! Yeah, I have to catch that and, like, throw it back at him, but because I don't have the suit... You must remember, you have gathered so much courage on your quest. If you have true courage, you will be able to defeat the Dark Raven. Billy, you must stand up. <gasps> we got the power of gay, guys! Yay. No, not yay! Yay! <laughs> you have the power of true courage. Press the B button to catch the evil energy balls that the Dark Raven shoots at you. When you use the power of courage, turn them into powers of balls to your light. I know you can do it, Billy power of gays you guys yeah i have harnessed the power of the lgbtqia plus oh 
No? I do I hold down B? Cause it didn't do shit. I'm holding down B this time. No. Do I have to like bounce off a wall or something first? Or do I hit it? <gasps> Maybe do I have to hit it with an egg? Yeah. Oh. So it's like we made it this far. So I am lost. <laughs> Okay, so I don't hit it with another egg. I felt like that already. It told me how to do it. I'm pressing B. Like, do I have to press it as soon as it hits me? I don't know why I didn't grab an egg and just. Okay. No. <laughs> Back to phase one. Oh no, I started phase two. Okay, so I have like 18 lives to figure this out. Oh. Okay. Oh, do I actually need to get... Okay, no. Yay! Press the B button to catch the evil energy balls that Dark Raven shoots at you. But, like, I am doing that. I'm pressing B as soon as he throws that giant black ball at me. And it's still not doing anything. So I'm either doing it wrong Yeah. I'm I'm kinda confused. What if I just mash it? No. Yeah, that's my B button is what throws the egg. I'm... I am confusion. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Sure, the B button works. It is working. If the guide has, like, honest, like, I'm doing what the game told me and it's still not working. But, like, if the guide says specifically how this mechanic works, then I would gladly appreciate it. Because I am a second away from just pausing and Googling it myself. I don't understand what I did any different. I'm not gonna lie. All I did was press the B button as it was about to hit me, and it just... It just worked that time. Oh, it's... That was... Alright, I could have done way more damage if I actually kept hitting it.
Oh, yeah, I have to get hit. Then I gotta survive this phase. When the Dark Raven rolls the energy ball, you press the B button as soon as it hits you. The timing is tough to master immediately. If you press it too early or too late, the ball presses right through you and fix pain. Okay, so it is just... This game kind of... Kind of... Another mechanic this game kind of blows at, honestly. <laughs> I mean, we have enough time to fuck around with it, but, like... I'm glad that I know that I'm, like, I'm just getting the timing wrong compared to I'm not doing it right at all. So let's get, like, somewhat close. Yeah! We got it, baby! It's one twentieth of a second window to press B! Bitch, I learned! I learned! With the help of my chat, I learned and I'm gonna beat your ass! <laughs> now, if only I can learn how to do that well for like. A parry on Dark Souls. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I fucked it up that time. Alright. I deserve- I was talking so much shit, I deserve that. That move's kind of terrifying, not gonna lie. No! My ball! I deserve that. Yo, one more cycle! One more cycle! Ah, fuck. <laughs> it's okay, I'm still learning the timing. If I don't get it this time, I definitely have it next time. Let's go! <laughs> You were here to witness my 10 plus, my decade, over a decade struggle to beat this game. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I did great. You're an asshole. <laughs>
Billy's like, sorry, we have to, I'm, I don't want to leave. But I enjoyed this kidnapping. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, you time to rock out. Hold up, let me. I got. There you go. Let me let me rock out to the music. <laughs> now you just jump off the side. <laughs> wow. Why? Because the the thousand bits is that is that what we're going with? The five hundred bits means I have to jump off a cliff. <laughs> Indeed. All right. All right. After the credits, I'll go jump off a cliff a couple of times. <laughs> um, shit. Like as much as I as, as close as we were at the end, I honestly wasn't expecting to beat this game tonight. Like I like we were literally right there, but I was still expecting the bugs to cause issues and whatnot. But I'm glad that we beat the game. Um, hopefully if everything goes as planned this weekend, I should be set for Tuesday to play Ratchet and Clank, uh, going Commando. If not... Ooh, I don't know, might need to go play some, like, Ape Escape or something. <laughs> Dude, these have been some of my favorite streams you've done. It's... Billy Hatcher's a game that, like, I can definitely see myself coming back in the future and replaying. There's not a lot of story to like get in the way. If really I don't want to do text box, I could just easily mash B through them. So I can definitely see myself like going back and like replaying this for like, I don't know, like a subathon or something, you know? Maybe do like a subathon where we try to like 100% the game. Honestly, I'm close to 200 subs. Like maybe when I hit 200, we could do like something. I don't know. Maybe come back at like 200 subs and like go through the thing and like 100% the game. Or at least get all the emblems. I don't know if I'll go as far as like collecting all the eggs, getting S ranks on every level. I mean, if there was a sequel to this game, I would 100% play that for like 200 sub or followers. Where do I look at how many people are subbed and how many people are followed? They'd be like under analytics, right? Five subs, I think, and nine. No, I feel like there's more than nine subs at a time. Uh, either way, uh, it's whatever. No, no, I have like six subs. No, six subs? Yeah, alright. So, probably like 200 followers. I'll probably do, uh, something. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Well, well, well. The turntables have turned. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've seen someone gift a, a sub to sons than the other way around. Shit. Hype trade. Yo, thanks for the hype trade. Yo, I like that emote tons. What is that? That's a good animated emote.
See, games don't end with an especial thanks to you anymore. And that sucks. <laughs> oh God. Tons. <laughs> I need to make more emotes. Like, honestly, there's not really much of a reason to sub to the channel if I don't really have anything I could give you for it. So I guess maybe I should start, like, thinking of emotes. I definitely think that we're going to make a Billy Hatcher good morning emote. Whether it be me just getting, like, either drawing it or, uh, like, just getting a screenshot of him with a thumbs up and just, like, cropping it. Oh shit. Oh, we broke the record of our last hype trade. Oh my god. Hi, Jester. My hotkey stopped working. Why? Oh, I don't have Numlock on. That's probably why. Yeah. I don't know why Numlock turned off. Alright, but let's hop back in. I'll jump off a cliff a couple of times. May as well go into mission two. This is a level I've never seen before, so I'm like genuinely curious of what this looks like. Alright, and since we got 500 or er, 1000 bits, one. And two. Doesn't hurt as much since, you know, we grinded those lives. <laughs> I heard there are a few Emblems of Courage hidden throughout the Giant Palace and Ancient Chickens. Billy, you must find them all in the Emblems of Courage the Giant Palace. Why? Is there... So, question. Is there, like, a reason to collect all the Emblems be besides just completionist sake? Do I unlock anything? Like, a special other boss fight or, like, secret scene or something? Oh man. <gasps> the Falcon! Oh, it's been so long. We've gotten him before. Oh, we might have gotten him on the ice stage and then died a couple times and never bothered picking him up at like the second time around. Portal. I love the little bean tones on this little bird guy. I might have to like, because before I know I was throwing around the idea of making PNG tube, like P not PNG tubers, um, chat pets based off of like video game characters and stuff that people could like buy off of Kofi or something. I wouldn't mind doing one for like this little eagle guy. Yo, pepperoni secret, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I killed myself. Yeah. Billy Hatcher and the missing textures. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, is it telling me to long jump over there? Bruh. Alright. 
Oh, that was a real nice shot. Oh, is that what the pug emotes are from, Tons? Are they from Hype Trains? <laughs> That makes a lot of sense. No, they're from Angry Pug? Oh, I just... I do like Angry Pug's emotes, they're great. Oh, this mechanic again, okay. Fine with that. Yeah, well, we're just kind of chilling here. Just in general, are there any games that are, like, on the PS... P PlayStation 3, or, like, kind of glocked to the PlayStation 3 that anyone, like, think would be good for a stream? Like, besides Ratchet and Clank, I'm pro like, I know I'm doing those. Uh, I have the first three games. I think I need to go and, like, get my hands on the other ones from there. Like, if when it comes to it. Maybe Asura's Wrath? It's like, while I have a PS3 hooked up, I'm thinking of other games that'd be worth playing. So that way I just didn't bring this thing downstairs just for Ratchet and Clank. Infamous 1 and 2, probably. Jungle's not bad. I never really got into that game. That's the one where... Actually, I'm not sure if I own that anymore. I think I was game sharing that off of my, my boyfriend at the time. But I remember that being pretty fun. Like, I never really got far. I've just fucked around in it a bit. Also, what am I doing? I could just... I think we're going to end there. Alright. So thanks to anyone who showed up. Uh, I really appreciate uh, everyone here. Also, just big, big appreciation to the people who helped me understand the mechanics and stuff that I was not getting down. Um... 
So, XLR, thank you. I probably would not have realized how I was fucking up that final boss fight if you didn't show up. I also appreciate uh, Spencer for whipping out <laughs> the, uh, the strategy guide. <laughs> Alright, so who are we gonna raid? Um, kind of thing. I'm trying to look for people. Um, Farley is playing melee. Twenty-year-old strategy guide coming in clutch for real though. Um, Jason's playing Resi Four Remake. Um, I don't know if anyone here is currently waiting to play. Th I mean, uh, were you really worried about spoilers in the Resi Four Remake? It's a remake. Like, I think we might go raid play Jason. message I always say is melon raid rolling through. If you have the watermelon cheer uh, emotes, go for go ahead and spam those along with it. If not, you could probably just use the regular melon emoji. But uh I'm 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 in it. I, I'm I'm on it. I'm, I was doing my thing tons. Chill, chill. <laughs> but uh I'll see y'all Tuesday with uh Ratchet and Clank. Uh, going commando. <laughs> I'm not typing out melon rain. <laughs> you get watermelons. That's fine. All right. Catch y'all on Tuesday. Have a good rest of your night, and bye bye.